In both my work and personal life, people will often ask me to share some of the more useful, lesser known features within the Windows 11 operating system. So coming up, I'll show you some of the more obscure features I've shared with others over the last few years that just may be useful for you. Let's get started. While some of you may be familiar with and using the voice typing feature in Windows, some of you may not be aware that it can do automatic punctuation. I'll show an example with automatic punctuation disabled. To open the voice typing feature, use the Windows key plus H. I was drunk the day my mom got out of prison, period. Did you know she got ran over by a damned old train? Question mark. To enable automatic punctuation, here in voice typing, click on settings. Click on the toggle to turn it on. In my experience, this seems to only work with periods and question marks. Let's do the same example with it turned on. I was drunk the day my mom got out of prison. Did you know she got ran over by a damned old train? Live captions is a fantastic feature for people that are hearing impaired. This will work with any audio or video that you have on your computer and will work with audio or video online that does not have captions. To enable it, open the Settings app. A quick way to open it is with the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus I. In the left pane, click on Accessibility. Scroll down to the Hearing section and click on Captions. To turn on live captions, click the toggle. You'll see it show up here at the top. At any time to turn live captions on, Without having to go to settings, the keyboard shortcut is the Windows key plus control plus L. Now I'll show you a quick example of it working using a recent video from our YouTube channel I have saved to my computer. If you're looking for free apps for your computer, the Microsoft Store app built into Windows 11 has tons of great apps for productivity and entertainment. I do want to point out that the live captions are not perfect. Instead of apps, APPS, it shows as, as, AS. I can promise you the Microsoft Store does not have great ass. Clicking the settings icon in the upper right lets you change the position, caption language, and in preferences, you can filter profanity, include your microphone audio, and change the caption style. Here's one for those of you that have keyboards and other accessories with RGB lighting. You can now tweak many of the settings for those accessories in the Windows Settings app. To do this, select Personalization in the left pane. Here on the right, scroll down and click on Dynamic Lighting. Here you can make changes, including adjusting the brightness and changing the effects. You have six you can choose from. So far, Microsoft has partnered with Razer, Asus, Acer, Logitech, Twinkly, and SteelSeers. When doing work on your computer or anything else where you need to focus on a task without any distractions, I recommend using Focus Sessions. To get started with it in the Settings app, with System selected, click on Focus. You can set the duration from 5 minutes up to 4 hours. The default is 30 minutes. It will also have all of these selected, including Turn on Do Not Disturb. When you click Start Focus Session, a timer will appear on your screen. If needed, you can pause and resume your session. One downside to Windows 11 is that if you want to see the full context menu, you'd have to right click on a file or image and select Show More Options. I'll now show you a handy trick that lets you see the entire context menu immediately. When you select a file or image, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and right click on it to see the full menu. If you have trouble identifying your mouse pointer on your screen, I recommend changing its color and size. In Settings, click on Accessibility here on the left. Then on the right, select Mouse Pointer and Touch. My screen recording software won't capture this, but I'll give you the steps if you want to try this on your own. Select the custom box. Select the color. You can use one of the recommended colors or choose another color. Then when you're done with that, Increase the size of the pointer using the slider that works best for you. If you're someone who likes to add borders to your screenshots using image editing software, the snipping tool built into Windows can do this for you automatically every time you take a screenshot. With the snipping tool open, 
click the three dot menu icon and go to settings. Scroll down, enable, add border to each screenshot. Click the arrow to expand this. Choose your color. You can use the slider to adjust the color value. Click OK. Then adjust the thickness using the slider of the border. And that's all there is to it. This one is for those of you that use your Windows laptops on public networks. Having a random media access control address, often referred to as a MAC address, can make it more difficult for malicious individuals or services to track your device's location. To enable this feature, click Network and Internet. Click into Wi-Fi. Turning on random hardware addresses will have your wireless adapter assign random MAC addresses, making it more difficult to track your device's location. Not all network adapters support this feature. If yours does, turn it on. When you're on a laptop and you have it plugged in, Enhanced Search is enabled by default to search your entire computer. For a better, less time-consuming experience, here on the left, select Privacy and Security. Scroll down in Windows Permissions and click on Searching Windows. In Find My Files, select Classic. Doing this will help to find anything in your documents, pictures, and music folders, plus anything you have on your desktop more quickly. Nightlight is a feature I've mentioned before, but I'm still surprised how many people I encounter do not know it exists. In short, it reduces eye strain, and by reducing blue light, can help you fall asleep after working on your computer at night. To enable it in Settings, go to System on the left, click on Display. If you need to, scroll down. In Brightness and Color, turn it on. With it enabled, you'll notice that to help block blue light, it's using warmer colors. You won't see this in action in this video, but you'll notice this on your monitor when you have it turned on. When you click into Nightlight, you can use the slider to adjust the strength. And when you enable Schedule Nightlight, you can have it set to turn on automatically from sunset to sunrise, or you could set your own hours. If you've ever used Spotlight Search on a Mac, the search bar on Windows 11 also supports math equations. Instead of opening the calculator app built into Windows, do this instead. Tap the Windows key on your keyboard and start typing your equation and you'll get the answer in real time. This one's really useful. As you type anywhere on your computer, Windows 11 can auto-correct any misspelled words and highlight any misspelled words to help improve your writing. To enable this feature in Settings, select Time and Language on the left. Then here on the right, click on Typing. Turn on Auto-correct misspelled words. Having this enabled has saved me a lot of time fixing errors. If you turn on Highlight Misspelled Words, those words that it wasn't able to correct will be highlighted. On Windows 11, both File Explorer and the built-in Notepad now support the use of tabs. You could click on the plus to the right of an open tab to create a new tab, or just simply use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus T to open new tabs. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If there's a lesser known feature you use that you think more people should know about, let me know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on the latest tips for Windows and other tech-related stuff.